That's for my bud. See, if you would have had this last night, just in your back pocket, we could have had Drew sign it. <laughs> right, well, you get you get an allowance. You can come to the GameStop and grab it. Twenty four dollars. Ha 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 ha. Why? Cause I don't. Spirit, Cobra Officer, Storm Shadow, Spirit, Cobra. What do you hear? What do you say? Oh, what are you finding up there? So we're going to go with either Frozen, Friends, or Bluey. So I'm thinking Bluey. I, I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? Great morning, everyone. Welcome back to JB's Toy Trunk. Starting off this week's hunt with a quick Walmart trip before work. You gotta get your bananas. We got no bananas today. Let me know if you know that one. That's old school. That's I'm not gonna even give you a hint. We got no bananas today, uh, but we're about to go get some bananas today because after a workout, you need those bananas. All right, guys. Let's go into this Walmart, grab our bananas, and hey, they have a they have a sun behind me, letting it all in. Maybe that's a good sign, saying, "Hey, uh, you're looking for more Star Wars." Be yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Three types of Landos. and that's it. Stay in step, stay in step. Let's go. We're on a mission, guys. Gotta go find some plastic. Let's go, stay in step, stay with the group. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Is that a good or a bad sign? Top shelf, nothing, transformers. Still doesn't look like they received everything, but I could be wrong. Got some more superpowers left over. Oh yeah. Two Thors, two fancy Thors. Decent final bless you. Hey, hey. Another gold label. Two gold label. I'm gonna put them down. Paralyx. Ooh. No Black Adam yet. Star Wars, Mission Fleet, Razor Crest, X Wing, some Power Rangers down there. Lando, Lando, Lando. We got a Clone War droids. You got your Jedi. You got your status quo Walmart Ben cart. Leia's. All right, and some Lando. Let's see if there's anything behind here. Nope. Don't raise your gun at me. Monday morning, leaving the Walmart disco. Disco in the store, disco in the parking lot. I almost feel like I'm back in Japan. And we partied until the sun almost went back down again. <laughs> Uh, not too much partying. Go well, there's some geese again. Love the geese over here. All right. Looking at this. You got the new wave. A couple Obi-Wans. Super Commando. Anakin. Reva. Darth. So, there you go. Also, new wave of Bonebreaker. It's pretty good to see. And Spirit. Cobra Officer, Storm Shadow, Spirit, Cobra Officer, Storm Shadow. Looks like they got the whole box in. Some new Transformers. Just good to see. Lightyear. Got your superpowers up there. 
uh, Supermobile. But yeah, good to see. Some classified. And for me, some new TVC. Looks good. Obi, probably gonna grab him. And then, definitely gonna grab a Reva. I'm gonna grab another Darth, because I want one on card. I just love that one. And put this other Obi Wan back. Anakin. Alright, guys, Goose Creek Walmart. Check that out. Got the whole box. I'm good. Got what I need. Come check it out. Got my TVC over here. Like I said, they got some of the Bone Breaker Wave left. So come check it out, guys. Good morning, guys. Tuesday morning hunt before work. And let me tell you, Goose Creek, two weeks in a row. It's two. Give me two. They crushed it. They brought in some of the Storm Shadow, Spirit, and Cobra Officer Wave. Minty Fresh. I'm good. And I, you know, like, ooh. And it's like, oh, I got those already. But it's just great to see. Looking for that gold, some of the new gold label, uh, DC McFarland. Let me know if you guys are looking for the new Azrael. Um, I know I'm not, but I know I got buds that are definitely looking for it. So it's like, hey, keep an eye out for it. That that does look like a great figure. So just trying to find it in the wild and Star Wars. So when you come to check things out and you just come from a WWE on Saturday, is this our new guy? Is this our new favorite dude? But it's a basic, man. But there's three of them. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> versus Goldberg. Yeah. All right, well, that was fun. Didn't know if I was going to really jump into this Walmart because I was just like, oh, whatever. But who do you see? What do you hear? What do you say? Look at that, guys. What do you hear? What do you say? Oh, who's this? Is this a chase? No, go back away. What do you hear? What do you say? What do you hear? What do you say? Good morning. Good morning. Look at that. Well, any more up there? Since we're filming, let's go look at the rest of this stuff. But you already saw the heat for this morning. I guess right now, nothing else matters, right? Hunting is over for the day. It is 6, 10 in the morning. We just go home, call in sick, and just say today was a good day. Look at that heat. Muchachos. All right, we were just here the other day, and early bird gets the worm. There's a spirit officer. Look at that, whole new case. Tanger Walmart. There you go, Tanger Walmart. Another case, so this is two cases in two days. Tuesday case, Wednesday case. It's hitting guys, hitting your Walmarts. Go Joe. Maybe it's time for me to go back to school. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh my God. I had just a great little two minute, not too long segment, and it's a lot shorter than this one right now of what I just found. JB, hit the record button. Goofball. Not a bad gangster, just a regular muchacho right now. There's four over here. There's four over there. Got some migs, some, definitely some tikas, and two chase lugers. There you go, come grab them. That's about it, man. Batista taking a nap. The animal. Look at that. Sleeping. <laughs> got nothing. Oh! As soon as I said they ain't got nothing. Look at that. What's up, maggot? <laughs> maggot and Darwin. Blue diaper. Gold label. That girl. Here's the Target exclusive. Bumblebee, Ransat, 
Sky Wasps, Scorponok. I like how I did that. You're welcome. Uh, still no dinos down there. You got your Titan. All right, guys, let's go see what they got next door. Say that again. Well, there's Mr. Teaser. That's right. You pity the fool if you paid extra for these, because they all right here. What's up? The animal. Oh, they got more on this side. Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight Hulks. And four Mr. T's and one Batista. There you go. That's how you do it. You got your Ricky Stanks. Ricky Stank. <laughs> Tika. You got your Urso. Migs Mayfield. He is not a peg warmer. He's the peg warmer. Sorry, Mom. Peg Mormon. No new Motu. No new Motu. What do you got? Ooh, let me see that. This ain't the chase, is it? It's not the chase. You want to see the smallest Darth Vader in the world? Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, guys. This, this looks good. Master grade. What grade are you in? Master. I like that. Put him in the cantina next to, uh, he looks like a villain from 007. Am I wrong? Is that what the intention was? They all the same. So you got your Midas Rex. You got your Oro. Cool. Fortnite. And there's your mask. Fade mask. Fade. No, but you get here. You could build an army of this guy right here. And then you got your Omega, Tikas, but look at that. Soka. You got Echo. Lando pulling in the rear. And some Tikas. That's a cool look setup. Is this the chase? That's not the chase. So help me out. Hey, look at this. Hey, help me out. So these are some walkie talkies. Are you watching? One is one is Obi Wan, and one is Darth Vader. Do you really think these guys are going to be talking to each other? All right, this is for my Italian friends. The Godfather, fifty years. Look at that, Michael Corleone. Michael's, Michael. Ooh, that's sunny. Huh. So we got Vito and a cat. Is that the chase? Because he's got a cat. <laughs> Don Corleone. Vito Corleone. Yeah, there you go. You see Sunny up there, babe? No, no Sunny. Sunnyless. Sunny the chase. There you go. Check your game stops. Oh, did you find? Oh, gore. <laughs> that does look like Christian Bale, doesn't it? <laughs> I like the two pack. Target two pack. What is this back here? So what? Oh, oh. Mick. Mick. Meek. Mick. Oh, I see a San Diego Padres. It's from my boy Dan, Manny Machado. Look at that mustache. That, that is a horrible mustache. <laughs> that is such a horrible mustache. Let me know, Dan. I'm sure you could find him out in the, the West Coast. There you go, there's the rest of them. Look at bets. Manny. Manny Muchacho Machado. I didn't see him. I didn't even see him. He was sitting next to Manny Muchacho Machado. Max Scherzer. 
Meet the Mets. Meet the Mets. Let's see a picture? With a bobblehead. <laughs> so there you go. The new wave. Look at that. Altuve, Betts, Lindor, Manny Machado. Horrible. That's that's not a horrible mustache. That is not a horrible mustache. That is a that's a Century of the Mad Collector beard right there. <laughs> Get your pops, people. Sonny Corleone. Sonny Corleone with the trash can lid. You remember that scene? No. Yeah. So there you go. Huh? All three. Look at that. All three. Start playing the music. I mean, Jeremy Jeremy Jam completes the set. Summer convention. No, I don't mess with you. That's nice. So is this is this all of it? There's Black Panther. Is this Black Panther? Yeah, that's cool. See that one looks good. Yeah. Because it's purple and. Oh, they have. Yep, they got Shuri down there. Very cool. I think twenty-four dollars. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, the case ain't even worth that much. Okay. I hate those cases. All right, I don't like them. <laughs> Why? Because I don't. Oh, here's your all your glow in the dark green goblins. Are these gonna be worth something in a little bit? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, thanks to one of the uh, awesome viewers said that that is the lead singer for Corn. <laughs> Corn. I forgot. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Friday night, date night. There ain't nothing. Oh, nah. -uh. There's a flash. It's not old. I'll tell you what's old. That's yeah. old. More pops. You got your indoor Vader. First time seeing that. That's pretty cool. These Vader ones are good. I like that one in the uh, Poth, the blue and white. There's a Surrey we saw the other day. It's a Black Panther. Oh. We saw that yesterday. Look at that. Limited edition summer convention purge trooper. Wow, that's pretty good. Very cool. Very, very cool. And that's the back of it. Oh, Obi Wan. Man, I didn't think about that one. But you know, those are going to go quick. Something with that sticker on there makes it a lot more valuable for some reason. <laughs> uh, is this a new Captain Marvel? Or is this just something I just never really paid attention to? Cool. It's your Halloween Wolfman. TMNT, still haven't seen the new wave of the uh, two packs out. Let's go see what's going on down here. Yeah, I got, I got some water. Nothing new. Okay, what is that? Some more Black Panther. Haven't seen this one yet. Mbaku. I like the actual Black Panther one. That purple. Looks pretty cool. I think we have some more collectibles over here. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. We found a whole grip of them. I didn't think there was a chase on these, but then there's that glow in the dark. I like these. Let's see what else we got. Look at these. This is Leonardo. Co Team NT Best Series Comic Book. Who is that? That's not Leo. It's Raph, isn't it? How does that work? Huh. 
Wrath. Well, that's pretty interesting. This best action? Yeah, best action. That's interesting. What else do we got? Just another raft and a wolf next. There you go. Let me know, guys. Is that you? Not me. There you go. Better shot. Same. All right, finally hit Somerville, Somerville Walmart. Two Cobra officers. Go back, Lady J. And four Croc Masters. Check that out. Four Croc Masters and four Fiona. Let's do the math right. There you go. Somerville Walmart. All right, so nothing new on the Motu side. Fortnite, same thing. We got this. This is. I don't have to say anything else. Got some Landos holding it down. Looks like they're getting ready to reset. Super powered. Oh, new wave of the Bone Breaker wave. It looks nice and neat. Let's just do it like that. You guys know who it is. You got Magnet in there. Keep forgetting this dude. Yep, Havoc. Mag Maggot, Wolverine, Sabertooth, Legacy, Black Panther, good stuff. Some of the Walmart finally hit it up. Transformers, Lightyear, and Jurassic Park. On a busy Friday, why not? Ooh. See, Marshall's already found the Atom Smasher. I've seen Cyclone. First time seeing Hawkman for me. And I guess for you on my channel. And Dr. Fate. Well, we've seen Dr. Fate before. But man, this Hawkman. Let's check this dude out. Oh, yeah. Some red exclusives. Dude. That's pretty, pretty good looking right there. It's got his mace. Oh, let me just buy that. <laughs> Hawkman, beefy. Definitely, uh, you know, a Hawkman, not a chicken. Look at that. Good artwork on the back. I looked at Doctor Fate earlier. Cyclone. Let's look at. It. Adam Smasher. Just the regular size one. Don't see the big one down there. Oh, pretty cool. Not a bad find. Ooh, first time in this target. Black Lantern Superman build figure. Found him first at Needless out there in Lincolnton. Dude was awesome. I think our buddies Zach Jack Dan and Man Cave picked this guy up. I sent them the picture. I know one of them went out there to go grab it. <laughs> Let's put him back. I didn't even see him up there. Another good score. You see Mick Farland. It's going to die. Oh, what are you finding up there? It's a... Look at that card back. That's cool. That is too cool. What are you doing? Because <laughs> it's supposed, yeah, they're supposed to come on this type of card back. Wow. They had, is that all? Yeah. Uh, the mummy? The mummy. How, about, how about this mummy? <laughs> it's a different box. What's in here? Oh, that's the ultimate. This is different. Why is it different? How, oh, it's, is it the black and white? No, it's colored. It's got a little shade to it. So here you go. There is the barcode. 
Which one is this, guys? Help me out. Help me out. Help me out. That, look at that. That's amazing. Just that box alone. But we don't do boxes. Oh, we do. But yeah, this is the, this has got to be the black and white version. Because the other one has like that shading. There's like the sepia tone to it. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. Let's see what else is down here. Yeah. Another face. Let's see what's behind this print. We've got all the prints from last time. Alright, guys. Glow in the dark. <laughs> What are we looking at? We're gonna go scan the price and see how much this dude is. That card back is amazing. Yeah, it's like, it's thicker than like a piece of plywood. <laughs> Seriously, it's a- G.I. Joe. <laughs> oh, wow. Marsha called out Hasbro. G.I. Joe team. Anything else up here? Marsha's gonna go do the, the leg work. All right, so we got good music going on, so I gotta talk really, really loud and not let it give me a copyright strike because we got the Beach Boys going on while I'm trying to look at NECA and the Pops. But, you know, just like Jackie Chan said, Beach Boys, great American band, but not while you're trying to film a toy video in Target. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we'll check back soon with the price. All right, so Marsha came back $24.99 for the Glow in the Dark Mummy. Universal City is the money. Very cool. Don't have room for him. He would look good with the glow in the dark stuff, though. Maybe if. I know they don't really clearance or drop those, but maybe one day. Just not right now. Check your targets, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to JB's Toy Trunk for the What's in the Trunk portion of the video. It's been a few days since I put out a hunt video and really posted this. It's been super busy at work, so I apologize for not getting these hunts that you just saw out earlier. And what you saw early in the week, and I kind of talked about it. Remember that show 24 with Jack Bauer? I looked at my time clock, and I'll put pictures somewhere over here showing you the timestamp that it was indeed under 24 hours where I found not just one wave of the G.I. Joe classified spirit Cobra officer and uh, Storm Shadow. Found two waves of those within 24 hours. We also found the vintage collection uh, Obi-Wan series. So I got, you know, a couple of those figures. And then, of course, the Azrael armored Batman <laughs> and the uh, Paralet. Par My goodness, people. Parallax, right? Parallax, you English majors help me. Help help me help me. Let's go ahead and see what we picked up. So I mentioned that I picked up some of the new Obi-Wan Wave uh, vintage collection. So there we are, Reva, the 36th sister, right there. Um, recently picked up the Black Series, awesome looking figure. Now we have the vintage collection one. There we go, uh, like the, the bigger version in the mini-me. So, hello there. You like my little... You and McGregor accent. Oh, hello there. The Mandalorian Super Commando. This is an awesome looking figure. Leave it in the comments. Who am I going to swap this head out with? Let me know. I, I don't know if it's going to be super accurate to what I'm thinking, but it'd be kind of funny to see what happens. Before I get to the mail call, uh, we got picked up one more that I told myself I would not pick up, but it just was fire. I had to pick it up. That's right. Gold label, Azrael Batman armor. Um, this is staying in box. I have no reason to bust him out of box. He just looks like an awesome figure. And I mean, that looks, if you guys see this, ever get to see it, hopefully you guys get to see this in stores and actually look at it up close. Just this artwork right here, it's the, you know, the box is nice. <laughs> I'm going to be displaying a box, guys, and not busting him out. Let's go to the mail call. Two big mail calls. Two items in one mail call that I picked up as I was actually dropping that last video. And you might have seen a picture on Instagram. That's right. The People's Champ with Cloak 
without cloak? Leave it in the comments. With cloak, without cloak. Both of them, I took some pictures and I'll post it guys. Both of them, freaking awesome. I mean that right there, if you look at that image right there, you guys know that's the rock. And then of course the detail. Can't wait for, to watch this movie. M most of the time, you know, Dwayne Johnson's not going to just put his name on anything and just say, here it is. I mean, he has. We all know that. And he's put a lot of cheesy stuff out there. But they're still, in my opinion, fun and fun to watch. And it's always a blockbuster. So in my opinion, I don't see that much different from the Black Adam movie. Now, if it's going to fit into everything that we've seen in, you know, DC over these past couple of years, hopefully this is the one that stands out. I did a test to see if walmart or hasbro pulse is going to be the better of shipping out these guys i did a quick silly unboxing and review i'll put the link up here i'm actually going to post that as a separate video just it's kind of like more of a review but if you want to watch it go ahead but i did pick up two of the gung hos one i was like i'll keep one on card because i like that retro look and then, of course, one to bust out. Good to see Gung Ho back into this uh, minty, fresh, aqua green, seafoam green. <laughs> Some of my good friends, if you're watching this, you know who you are. Seafoam green. <sighs> Guys, that's it. I went from that last video say what's not in the trunk to that's what's in the trunk right now. And it's okay. Going out on hunts, finding things for the first time, finding things in your area for the fir first time is just really just super awesome. And that's just an exhilarating thing when you go out toy hunting. And I love doing it. And I thank you guys for joining me on these hunts. Um, going to Saturday, I filmed a lot of the exit or the entrances and exits of all these awesome WWE athletes and wrestlers and personalities. I started to think and I started to look up things. It's like, maybe I shouldn't do a video and a montage of that. Copyright, guys. YouTube gets really, really, really picky about things. So does WWE. They're very, very careful of their branding by that. I get it. I did take some pictures of me and my family. So I'll put just a few of them up there. But just let me tell you, I'm back into it. I'm not talking about top rope back into WWE, but I definitely want to go to another match. Go check out an AEW match. You know, I heard you, a lot of you guys say AEW is so much better than WWE right now. But hey, with Vince McMahon on the way out and on the game taking over, I even saw something on an article talking about bringing back WWF. Yeah. Um, shout out to the Funkaholics. Um I follow you guys. You guys, if you guys don't follow the Funkaholics on Instagram and of course their podcast, those dudes are funny and awesome, very creative. And looking at their just their their awesome posts about you know um, on Instagram on some of these wrestlers and their Funko Pops and things like that, it gets me triggered into saying I I might want to continue watch wrestling and it's crazy and that's what I love about this community. You you find a page, you find a channel that brings back some of the nostalgia and then there's another event that happens in your life saturday night wwe in our area um on the floor this close to bobby lashley he was like kind of reaching i was reaching i was like ah oh, man yeah you know and then of course drew mcintyre coming over spending over 30 minutes almost 45 minutes after he you know his last match to walk around slowly sign autographs and take selfies and i got a couple of those that i put up there come on and then of course he come comes back around and he sees my son and he, you know he signs a sweatshirt you know we didn't expect to get signatures or autographs so awesome people most of them whether it's show or not i don't care he definitely showed us love showing love back to drew mcintyre thanks man for signing my son's sweatshirt and of course taking a all that time to just say hi to the fans fans of not just you but just fans of wrestling it's an awesome feeling so marsh is in my son's in his friends in we're all in guys going top rope with wrestling not on action figures just going to the shows let's just put it like that
Enough rambling, guys. It has been a long week at work. We are getting ready. This is the busy season for me at work. It is just getting ready to ramp up. All right, guys. Enough babbling. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the ride in life. You guys take care of yourself. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. And here's some footage. <laughs> I'm going to sneak in some footage on this WWE somewhere. If not here, check my Instagram because I think I did put a couple pictures on my Instagram too. Also, the debut of Marsha, if you didn't know, she's out there. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.